Hello, second grader. Welcome back to April number corner. So let's take a look at our calendar markers for Friday and the ones we missed over the weekend. Okay, so here is our calendar marker for the 16th. Here's our calendar marker for the 17th. All right, so today we're going to look back at the calendar markers for the fourth set. So this is April 14th through the 17th. Okay, so what do you think the next marker in the set will be? How are the markers in this set alike and how are they different? How many vegetables are there on each plate? How many vegetables are carrots? How many are green beans? What fraction of the total number on the plates does the number of carrots or green beans represent? Okay, so let's look at this. On the 14th, there are four green beans. So four out of four are green beans. On the 15th, there's one carrot this time and three green beans. So that's one fourth are carrots or one out of four. And three fourths are green beans. So three out of four are green beans. Then on the 16th, we have two carrots and two green beans. So two out of four or half of the plate is carrots and half of the plate is green beans. Then on the 17th, I see three carrots and one green bean. So three fourths or three out of four are carrots and one fourth is green beans. So let's fill in our calendar good for these days. So the 16th, we have a set still with two green beans and two carrots. So half the plate is carrots and half the plate is green beans. On the 17th, it's still a set. This time I have three carrots and one green bean. So three fourths are carrots and one fourth is green beans. Let's add this to the set for the rest of the month. And here is the 18th calendar marker. So this one's different. This time we have a hole. Here's the one for the 19th. Hmm. Let's look at these a little closer. So the 18th, it is a hole, but I have it in four parts and one part is filled. So one row has plants in it and the other three do not. But then on the 19th, it's still a hole, but this time I only have three parts, but one is filled in. So one row of the three has plants in it. All right, let's add that to our observation chart for the rest of the month. And let's add all of those markers to our calendar. Great job, second grader. I'll see you again next time. Bye.